What's going on, everybody? Francis and Wayne Boxing, we back with another one. Smash the like button one time for the algorithm. Subscribe and share if you haven't already. You see the thumbnail, Jared Anderson showing defense against Charles Martin. Now, it was a sticky fight. We're going to talk about it right after this musical interlude. Let's go. It's the way it, call up and you weigh it. Now we get to talk about everything you're saying. Analyzing topics, dropping knowledge, we ain't playing. When you think it's about to end, shit, we crank it up again. Hold on. This is definitely the post-fight reaction for Jared Anderson versus Charles Martin. Wow, if you see my prediction, my prediction was almost spot on. Not my bold prediction. My regular prediction was almost spot on. I said, ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be a tough fight for Jared Anderson. Oh, no, Jared Anderson about to walk through Charles Martin. I said, listen, y'all, this is a former heavyweight champion of the world. You got to put some respect on Charles Martin's name. Charles Martin is a big dude. Now, mind you, oh, it's two It's two weeks for both fighters. It's a two-week adjustment for both fighters. Charles Martin is a southpaw. Fighting a southpaw is tough. It's hard for you to get out of the way of that left head. Just as Joe Joyce. Jalil Zhang... That left hand had an area code. You can drop a ping on that left hand because he was fighting Joe Joyce's face all night. Same thing in this fight right here. Jared Anderson, who moves obviously better, you know, better waist movement, started off the fight move going really fast. Started off the fight getting in there, throwing his punches, land on Charles Martin. But Charles Martin is a type of fighter that he kind of waits for his opportunity. He got power. Charles can bang. So the reason why I use that particular thumbnail because Jared Anson definitely got to tighten up his defense. When he's making his attack, he got to tighten up his defense. He'd be standing right in front of his opponent and his hands be down. Okay, he'd be standing right in front of his opponents and his hands be down. But here you can tell he has the mobility. He like, he like Neil from the Matrix. Or is it Neo? From the Matrix. He... Dodging punches like he dodging bullets. You can see right there, Charles Martin was throwing that left hand with, 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 with bad intention. But nonetheless, Jared Anderson, he got hit with a few of them. Oh, he was on he was on shaky legs a few times during the fight. But he definitely showed that he has the ability to dip and move at the waist and get out of the way. He thought maybe he came in there and blew out. Charles Martin don't work like that. Charles Martin is a big dude. You could take some big shots. Okay. Some big shots. Big shots. King Kong, Luis Ortiz, a big puncher who's also a southpaw. He didn't drop Charles Martin. He knocked him into another world. But he didn't drop him. Charles Martin ain't no slouch. So when he said this fight right here is going to happen, I done said, man, it's going to be a tough fight for Jared Anderson. It probably going to be a majority decision or unanimous decision victory. Check my prediction. It's on the channel. Hit the like button while you're there. And it proved to be right. Charles Martin played possum for as long as he could. And then he started firing some big shots. Now, Jared Anderson weathered the storm. It got a little sticky at some points. We thought the fight was going to be over. But he weathered the storm. Showed true heart. Grit, determination, and he made slight adjustments in that fight to get him the victory. That was the test that he needed to go back to the drawing board. Go back to the drawing board and work on the defense. Work on his offense. Especially against a southpaw, especially against a bigger heavyweight because, you know, 6'5 and above is big. Deontay Wilder is big. Tyson Ferry is big. Dillian White is big. These are some big heavyweights. Usyk around his size, but Usyk is, is, is hefty too. He's a big dude. So we got to see what Jared Anderson can handle, what he can't handle, what he needs to work on. What he doesn't need to work on. 
And we get to hear the critics. Because you know the critics are going to come out and say what they have to say. Oh. He's overrated. I don't think so. I don't think so. He's overrated. I don't think so. He's not as good as they say you are. He's supposed to knock out Charles Martin. How much people you see knock out Charles Martin? He's 23. Usually heavyweights don't get, you know, you don't get that, 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 get to that level until they like closer to their 30s. When they're closer to their 30s, that's when, you know, he's 23 years old, man. 23 years old. For, he got 10 years to become an absolute monster. He got 10 years, 23 to 33, to be an absolute monster. Mind you, you said he wants to get out of boxing at 27. We'll see as the time go on. There's only two people. Two people to knock out Charles Martin. That's Anthony Joshua and Luis Ortiz. Two. Two. So it wasn't gonna happen like how y'all say it was. He's just gonna go in there. He's just, you know he's just gonna he's just gonna flatline Charles Martin. No. And both them heavyweights are are big are big dudes, man. <laughs> they big. They're not small. And and you heard Charles Martin, if you listen to the post fight, yeah, he said that he, he moves like a middleweight in there. He doesn't have that imposing size of a heavyweight. That big imposing size of a heavyweight. He doesn't. But that comes with time. Put on more size. Get that man body. He's 23 years old. He didn't get his man body yet. His back started, it's going to be a whole different problem when he really starts to turn them punches over and crack people moving at how he's moving. So shout out to Jared Anderson, man. Get in there. He didn't back down. He could have folded. He didn't back down. He didn't fold. He stepped up, tested himself against a former world champion who's no slouch. Charles Martin ain't no slouch. And he's a southpaw in his hometown. Sorry, those hometown fights, man, they can be tough. We've seen um, uh, what's, what's my man's name? We've seen um, Regis Prograce had his hometown return. It didn't go according to plan. Tough. Especially when you got tough opponents in front of you. And, and Charles Martin is, is, is the toughest test of Jared Anderson. He came through. Mind you, he had to go through the fire. Sometimes you got to get baptized through fire. And you can honestly say Jared Anderson came through the fire. He came through the fire. The fire. Against Charles Martin. And Charles Martin had to give him his credit as well. Jordan Addison, again, I said, come out starting fast. He started fast. You know, he started feeling himself a little bit until the first big shot landed from Charles Martin. He had to go back to the game plan. He had to go back to boxing. Now Charles Martin is advancing and he's throwing shots because he's hurt. So a few rounds in there, definitely. The judges' scorecards is a bull. There's no way. There's no way those scorecards were that wide. 99-90. Come on, man. Come on. Y'all got to put some more respect on, uh, on Charles Martin's name, man. For everybody that... He ain't done yet. For everybody who thought Charles Martin was done, you got to put some respect on his name. He probably not the same fighter he was back then, but Charles Martin is still Charles Martin. You heard. You 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 heard Jared Anderson say from round one to round 10, he carried that power. He carried that power. So if you think you're about to run up on Charles Martin, you're going to get slept. You're going to get knocked out. He carried the power from round one to round 10. So that was also another test for Jared Anderson that you can't switch off. They may look tired, but you can't switch off. Charles could have went two more rounds for sure. It would have been a sticky fight if they went two more rounds. I tell you that. Them championship rounds would have been hella sticky. 
Very sticky for both fighters. We might have seen somebody get dropped. But I I I I, I enjoyed that fight, man. I enjoyed that fight. Um Jared Anderson showed grit. That's what we wanted to see. He definitely did drop Martin in the third round. He dropped him in the third round with a good shot. But Martin got up like a true champion and kept fighting. You know, he wasn't able to, to finish his finish his food. Both these fighters weren't able to get in there finish because when when um when when Jared had Charles hurt, he couldn't finish him. When Charles had Jared hurt, he couldn't finish him. So it showed that both of them, you know, they, they try to stay as defensive responsible as possible. Now, Jared could definitely be a lot more defensive responsible. That's what he has to go back to the drawing board and work on, right? Because you don't want to come off as these fighters that have these undefeated records. records. Knockouts. Knockouts, 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 and then decision, 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 decision. I think right now Jared Anderson knows that he belongs. I believe he knows he belongs at the heavyweight division after taking on a former champion that's fought some names. I I now know Jared knows that he's ready, you know what I'm saying, for the bigger boys. Is it going to be a test? Of course it's going to be a test for him. You know, he's going to be... Majority of the time, probably the smaller fighter out of these heavyweights. But more experience, more experience, more fights, definitely under his belt. It can happen for him, man. So shout out to Jared, the real big baby Anderson. Stepping up against a big Charles Martin who can punch, weather the storm, weather the storm, weather the storm, weather the storm. And close the show in good fashion. Um, great performance from both these fighters. Uh, shout out to Jared Anderson, his entire team. Hold your head up, young man. You're 23. You got a bright future ahead of you. A lot of people going to say, you're not it no more. A lot of people say, you're not, you, you're not that guy that we thought you were. They're going to say all of that. But at the end of the day, you did that, man. Look at you. You dipping shots like you, like you in the Matrix. Amazing. Amazing performance from both these fighters all action pack fight great entertainment Charles Martin showing that he still got it Jared Anderson showing that he the next one a lot of work to be done but he's definitely the next one smash that like and subscribe button one time for the one time one time for the algorithm and if you haven't subscribed do so if you haven't shared do so Because the time is now, man. Jared Anderson, the WBC USA heavyweight champion and the WBO international heavyweight champion. Should be a crazy fight because we know that uh, the WBO title right now and mandatory is being held by Jalil Zhang. Joe Joyce would love that opportunity to get back in line to take on Usyk for that WBO World Heavyweight title. We know Jared ain't ready for Usyk yet. Maybe a fight against Jaleel Zhang if he's to win the rematch. Maybe a fight like that could happen for Jared. But there's no rush. He's 23 years old. There is absolutely no rush. Just keep building that record. Keep getting that experience inside the ring, under the lights, until the time is right. 2024, mid-2024, world title shot. If the top five sort out their issues, because they don't want to fight each other right now. They're kind of at a standstill. Dillian White, Anthony Joshua, at a standstill. Usyk, Fury, at a standstill. Deontay Wilder, Andy Ruiz, they're at a standstill. It just is what it is right now. Nobody wants to fight nobody in the top five. We don't know why, so we hope it happens. But right now, this is a post-fight reaction for Jared Anderson versus Charles Martin. Great fight, great showing of heart, great showing of display, great showing of what needs to be worked on from Jared Anderson. He can go back to the drawing board, work on his days. At least it did not come on the back of a loss. It came on the back of a win. So it's 
building from here, building from here, building from here. Shout out to the entire team. Shout out to everybody that rocks with the way in boxing. Ladies and gentlemen, we catch you all in the next one. Smash the like button. One time for the algorithm. I'm out. It's the way in. Call up and you way in. Now we get to talk about everything you're saying. Analyzing topics, dropping knowledge. We ain't playing when you think it's by the end. Should we crank it up again? Hold up.